the delivering God. Come on, lift your name and smile. Say, I've been delivered so many times. I can't count the times that God delivered me from something. He delivers. First, he delivers. He delivers in our mind. Can I get his witness? He said, let this mind be in you, which is in Christ Jesus. Many of us today would have lost if it weren't for God delivering us in our mind. Can I get a witness? So many things are pulling on you daily. Home problems and job problems and things in your family is pulling on you. Can I get a witness? But God in you held it together. Tell your names that God has a way of holding things together. And you may feel like you got it together, but deep down within, you know God needs a work to be done for you. You know that God needs to step in a situation that you cannot handle. Can I get a witness? Tell your names. I know I've been in some situations that I couldn't handle. Amen. But I thank God when you keep on waiting, God will give you the strength that you need. God will step in just when you need him most. He'll step in in the dark places. And we've all been through some dark places. But I want you to know when you step in a dark place, you got the light of Jesus on the inside to shine through. Can I get a witness? I feel like preaching this morning. Amen. Some of you, I heard Apostle, uh, Apostle Ford Nelson, he said a statement one time. He said, film cannot be de de developed in the light. <laughs> film that you take pictures got to be developed in the dark. <laughs> dark places are not all bad. <laughs> Can I get a witness? It lets you know what you got on the inside. <laughs> if you got the light on the inside, you can see where you're going. But Jesus said, no, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. And then God said again, he said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Tell your name, say, God ain't going to leave you. God loves you too much to leave you. Can I get a witness? Tell your name, say, I know God loves me, because he woke me up this morning. Some places this morning and this week that you couldn't have made it by yourself. It was the Lord that took you through what you went through this week. Can I get a witness? Money didn't get you through. The house you live in didn't get you through. The car that you drive didn't get you through. But it was Jesus. But I lean on it every day. Because I know the Bible says without me you can do nothing. I know I'm preach, but I just want to talk a little bit. Tell your neighbor say without him you can't do nothing. Some of you trying to handle things your way. And when God says step aside, I got this for you. Tell your neighbor say God's got it. Don't lose no sleep because it's the way it is.
Hallelujah. The enemy has been trying to whisper in some of y'all here, say you ain't gonna get over that. But he is a dirty liar. Can I get a witness? Tell you they say you're gonna get over it. <laughs> you may have to cry sometime, but you're gonna get over it. Hallelujah. You may have to go in your secret closet, but God said you're gonna get over it. Tell you they say you're gonna get over it. Tell you they say it's not bad that you think it is. God gonna get you through it. If you take you to it, he gonna get you through. God gonna get you through it. He knows what he's doing. Take your say he knows what he's doing. He just wants you to trust him. Joe said, All the days of my point of time, I'm gonna wait till the change comes. You know what? I see change in this atmosphere. Take your say, I see change in this atmosphere. I see change in somebody's family, change in somebody's home, change in somebody's circumstances. Hallelujah. God tell me to tell you, you're not denied. He's already working in your favor. Come on, say, he's already working in your favor. Amen. The Bible tells us in Jeremiah, Jeremiah was known as the weeping prophet. Jeremiah saw that Israel was about to come back from the turmoils and the things that happened in their life. Live the church, say amen. amen. They was carried away captive. Hallelujah. They was carried away to Jerusalem unto Babylon. We want you to know that God is going to deliver those who are held captive. God's going to break you free. For he who the Son set free is free indeed. You will be free. And the Lord was telling Jeremiah, he said, tell the people that I'm bringing restoration again. God told him to tell somebody he's bringing restoration again to your life. He said, tell them after all Restoration again. He said, Tell them they're going to be able to build new houses. Not only build new houses, but they're going to build houses that they will dwell in. Can I get a witness? He said, Tell them they when they plant their gardens that they're going to be eating the fruit of their gardens. Can I get a witness? In other words, I'm going to bless you to eat the produce that you have been planting in your garden. In other words, don't worry about the cranker worm. Don't worry about the caterpillar. Don't worry about the fowls of the air. He said, because I will allow you to eat the fruits of your garden. Then he told them, I'm still in the book, just follow me. He said, tell them that wives will beget sons. Daughters and wives and sons and daughters and husbands, that they will be able to increase. That they will not be able to diminish. Can I get a witness? Nobody, somebody here today feel like the enemy has tried to told, tell you that some things in your life is diminishing. It ain't going to happen. But God can bring those dead things that are dead. He can bring them back to life. And I feel today that God is going to bring some things back to life. For many of you that are sitting here. He said, I'm praying for the people Stress. 
bless you. Because God has given you.